you always, did you play in the backyard? <clears throat> did I play in the backyard? Yeah, there was this one platform that we weren't allowed to play on. I, I don't know if it had to be a, because it had like these nails or something or these hooks, but we weren't allowed to play on them. But then, obviously, as kids, when you're not allowed to do something, that's what you really want to do. That's why you got me. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> and I remember I I was very um now I'm not I gonna to say others with belts. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I was innocent, but if you told me not to do something, I wouldn't do it. If you told me to sit somewhere, I'd sit. I was that child. But I would instigate others to do something. So I would say, you know, go go to yeah. that, go to that. And I got um one of my, I don't know if it was, one of my cousins to go play in the platform, and they I got hurt, and I don't know if they got their finger cut, but there was blood everywhere, and I ran as far as I could, and I hid, and I was like, it wasn't me, it wasn't me, it wasn't me, and one of the boys got in trouble for it, <laughs> all, I, all I remember seeing is grandma with the belt behind the boys, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, belt. Let me tell you the belt. <laughs> you know that about both sides. <laughs> yeah. So it was first grade, I think first grade, and I had a cousin named David. And recess, and it had rained, and the school, the elementary, and the middle, and the high school were all together. You know what's going on? You know, you're all combined together right there. So we ran, 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 and ran through puddles. And David's like, "Come on, let's go." So we went to the middle school area. We peeked in and we kissed to the girls, you know, in the big, the big grades. We were running around. Some teachers chased us, but then we ran away. We never came back. Finally, it's late. We decided to come back. We come back, back then. So they made us sit on our knees with all of our books on our head. For the rest of the day, in front of the whole class, David's mom came and she was so lovely and so nice. And she's like, Oh, David, come here, baby. You know, it's just like, Oh, and then he walks all the way up. And I'm thinking, Oh, good. You know, maybe my mom will come in here and will be okay, you know. But my mom didn't come. It was my grandmother that came. <laughs> she held me by one hand and beat the garbage out of me the whole way home. And then when we got home, she asked, my well for the belt. Um, you know, that smooth leather belt she asked for it. And he got it. And I'm in the corner. He's like, ah, you know, my well help. And, he, and he's looking at me like this. Just, I'm going to do exactly how he did it. Look at me like this, like. <laughs> they walked off. <laughs> so he was also the silent type. He would just sit there and not say much. I would steal his cigarettes, his his, his uh, Marlboros, and I'd go hide him in the backyard. You know, in the, uh, the, uh, you know, the plot that was behind the house. Yeah. I'd go back there, dig, dig, and hide him. And he'd get really mad, you know, where his cigarettes. But then he would never get mad at me. He would never, like, I never got a beating. Yeah. For hiding his cigarettes. I gotta be for all the for other something things. else. <laughs> I was always getting beatings all the time. You well, know? it's funny because he would get mad, and then once he found out it was one of the grandkids, it like. His tone just like. Relax. Yeah. He's just like. Whatever. <laughs> he just dismissed the whole thing. Do you remember him smoking the pipe? Yes. I love that smell. That smell of the pipe was so nice. I would, oh, good. I would love to sit back. on his lap when oh. he would smoke the pipe, and I wasn't allowed. I've, t I've thought about taking it up, smoking pipe, just because I like the smell of it so much. It reminds you know what me I of used him. to do? I used to hide his bucket. Really? Yeah. <laughs> we used to, oh. we were horrible. Not you did too? Think of yeah. That. Yeah. <laughs> She's the next generation. <laughs> we were hiding his stuff because... I wonder how much <laughs> money he lost out on hidden uh, tobacco. <laughs> like, he would just sit there and he was so quiet. You like to bother the people that just don't do anything, so we would hide his... And then his ball, he always had it right there next to his chair. Uh, we would hide that too. We would hide his bucket. I never did the cigarette thing. We hide, hide his pipe. <laughs> One time, he got so mad at me because I actually washed it. Because I thought it was dirty. <laughs> and he got so mad. You washed his pipe. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> and he got so mad because I thought it was dirty. And he was Lately, hold on, that's bringing something back. I think I did the same thing. <laughs> that, that seems very familiar. But he didn't get mad at me. 
because he's like, who did it? And he's like, where is it? He got mad at grandma and grandma was like, she finally found it. And I'm sitting there like, oh my God, I'm going to die. This is how I'm going to go. <laughs> and no, she's like, you know, told him I had it. And then he's just like, oh, okay. And he went back to his chair and played with his little marble. <laughs> You know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, it's really nice to remember this stuff and, you know, kind of just share these memories. Well, it's funny because you and I didn't really grow up together. Yeah. Because we're too different. Yeah. But we have the same memories. The same memories, memories. yeah, we do. And, and it's also funny to hear, like, you talk about, you know, it's like I remember them. But then they, but then they're like mine. Yeah. And to think that somebody else also and had them. There when I was there. Yeah. So when I tell you my story, it's like you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. You were in such time travel. <laughs> like you were it there before like me. I was there way before. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. How about how many years apart are we? Well, I'm well, I'm 63. <laughs> yeah. So. I mean, you look 65, but. Yeah, yeah. I um, act younger than what I. Yeah, you do. Um, <laughs> He's a crap. I'll kill you. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, no, well, really. I'm, I'm 38. Wow, 10 years. Yeah. I'm 29. Yeah. Nine years. Is that nine years? Yeah. Well, you're. Are you trying to make it more? Because I mean, not that I care. But you are trying to make it more. No, it's actually probably like eight. The exact. Well, it's funny because everybody keeps asking me. They're like, "Why are you, you know, are you freaking out about turning 30? I'm like, "No, why? Did something happen?" <laughs> like, I'm not, I don't understand. Like, what happens when you turn 30? And then they keep warning me about all these things. Like, oh, when you get away here, don't pull it. I'm like, why not? They're like, because you get more. And I'm like, does it open up a portal or something? Like, everybody, everybody said that. I was like, that, that it's all over at 30, and then that when I turned 30, I got Lyme's disease really bad. <laughs> I like, it really is over. <laughs> I thought it was because it was 30. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's pretty funny. No, I'm not afraid about turning 30. I'd be more scared of Lyme's disease. <laughs> As long as I don't get live with you guys, should be good. <laughs> What's happening over? And, and, and you too. Hi. <laughs> He's like, I'm here too. He's like, I'm here to rock heart. Like, um, like you, you just say go on and play, and then um, one hour later, I'm like, hey, where, where are they going to give you? Like, hi. Right I'm all day over here. I'm bored. Yeah. I'm all day over here. Next thing I know, it's like five yawns down. Alright. The last time I got a haircut. Hmm? The last time I got a haircut. Uh, no, I think I have an appointment next week. You take him to the Dominicans? No. What's Caesar? He has his own barber. Like, he goes to his house and everything. Really? Yeah. I don't know. He's been going to him for a couple of years now. He's your barber? He used to go to him, I guess, when he had a shop, and then he left, and he grew very attached to him, so he just started going to his house. And wherever he moves, this one follows, so... That's pretty fancy. He has his own bar. Young kid has his own bar. Yeah. And he'll say it. Like, I think one time his dad tried to take him to a different place and he goes, We're going to Caesars? He's like, Yeah, I guess. <laughs> he ended up changing the appointment to go to his barber. Are you ready to train today, Lenny? I'm ready. I gotta ready do my train? workout, yeah. but then, yeah, I'll definitely train with you guys. You need yeah, to get back, back to on. your essay before we leave. I'm gonna finish up my mop overhead. <laughs>